This screencast will show you the graphical user interface, or GUI, we will use to program the Scribbler 2 robots. Graphical user interface is the term we use for a picture-based program that allows the user to interact with the robot using pictures, graphics, rather than text. We will start from the desktop. Click on the red robot icon and the GUI will open. You will see a window with icons on the top, icons on the left, and a big open area covered with graph paper on the lower right. The icons on the top are your menu bar. The icons on your left are called the action bar. The graph paper section is called the program area because you will create your program there. And the two strange shapes sitting in the program area are called the program steps. The upper program step signifies the start of your program and the lower one signifies the end. Since there is nothing between the start and the end, this is an empty program. It will do nothing. The action bar blocks can be thought of as verbs, except for zoom, select, and paste. These are the commands that tell your S2 robot what to do and when. Hover over them to see the tooltips that explain what their functions are. They include move, switch the LEDs on or off, insert a sound sequence, raise or lower flag, insert a pause, loops, test a condition, observe a condition. Think about that. How would a robot observe a condition? What would it use to observe a condition? And several other commands. The menu bar has command buttons, such as clear the worksheet, which would mean deleting your program, load the worksheet, load a saved program into your program area, Save a worksheet, usually to your personal folder, and copy the program to the scribbler, which is uploaded to the robot, and various other useful commands. The question mark button is very useful. Look at this. It opens a page with loads of information and a great useful table of contents. Now that we have completed your introduction to the graphical user interface or GUI, oops, please go to the GUI spot check blackboard link so that we can see how much you remember of the screencast. You may watch the screencast again before you do this if you like. If you have trouble with the questions, Come back and watch it again. Good luck.